Hey there, and welcome to Python for Beginners. In this course, we're diving into one of the most popular programming languages out there. Whether you're just starting out or brushing up on your skills, you're in the right place. Today, we'll kick things off with an introduction to Python and help you set up your development environment step by step. Let's get started. First off, what is Python? Python is a high-level interpreted programming language known for its simplicity and readability. It's widely used in web development, data science, automation, artificial intelligence, and so much more. Python's is easy to learn, versatile, and community-driven. Python was created in 1991 by Guido Van Rossum. Since then, it has evolved tremendously, carving out its space in virtually every tech domain, from building websites to crunching data and machine learning. Python's versatility makes it go to choice for beginners and pros alike. But why choose Python? Besides its easy-to-read syntax, Python boasts a massive community and countless libraries that make development fast and fun. In this course, we'll explore these benefits as we walk through real-life examples and projects. This course is structured to give you a comprehensive introduction. You'll get hands-on coding through interactive text lessons, watch videos, and follow along with detailed documentation and content in our official website. By the end of Module 1, you'll know not only what Python is, but how to start using it. Our learning outcomes today include understanding Python's history, setting up your development environment, and writing your very first Python program. Now let's move on to getting Python installed on your computer. Before we can start coding, we need to install Python on your computer. There are a few ways to do this, but we're going to cover the most common methods. Head over to python.org. On the home page, you'll see prominent download button. Click that to download the latest version. We'll be using this installer in our walkthrough. If you prefer using a package manager on Macos, you might use Homebrew or on Linux, you could use that. Simply type brew install python or sudo app get install python in your terminal and you're set. Next, let's set up our development environment. You can choose between several integrated development environments or text editors. Personally, I love using Visual Studio Code and PitchArm. Both are powerful, easy to use, and free to start with. In Visual Studio Code, simply head to the Extensions tab search for the Python extension and install it. This extension gives you features like code linting, debugging, and even running your code directly from the editor. You can create a new Python folder for your VS code and start coding here itself. Create a new Python file in your Python folder and type your first program. We will do this later in this video. Python also comes with an interactive shell, sometimes called a REPL, read, eval, print loop. This is great for trying out quick code snippets. Just type Python in your terminal to launch it. Let's try this Python code in the Windows terminal and see the output as it printed the text given in the print function. And for those who love a notebook style experience, Jetbiter Notebook is your best friend. We'll install it shortly so you can write and execute code in more visual and interactive way. That's it for installation. Now that we have everything set up, let's write our very first Python program. Now we're going to start with the classic Hello World example. Let's open our VS Code editor and create new file called helloworld.py. In this file, type the following code print, hello world. This simple line of code tells Python to display the text hello world. On your screen, once you've typed it in, save the file. Now let's see it in action. In your terminal type Python hello world, pi and hit enter, you should see hello world printed out. Congratulations, you've just run your first Python script. Behind the scenes, Python reads your code, evaluates it, and prints out the result. This process is the foundation of how Python executes any script. This interactive mode is also known as the REPL, and it's perfect for experimenting with new ideas. As you continue your Python journey, you'll switch between writing scripts and using the interactive shell to test out ideas quickly. Now that you've written your first program, you're one step closer to becoming proficient Python developer. That wraps up Module 1. Today, we learned about Python's history, set up our development environment, and even ran our first script. In the next module, we'll dive deeper into Python syntax and start building more complex programs. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.